How's it going you guys? So today I'm gonna work on the 2006 Dodge Charger SRT8 and what we're doing today is uh, when I got this car which I just got it a couple weeks ago we have been having noise as you hit bumps and stuff you hit bumps you have like a little clunk up front so it usually means your struts are shot and when i looked at them they're really old so what we did was we bought up a whole new front and rear strut kit and uh got it off ebay i'm about to unbox it for you and let you check it out i'm gonna go ahead and put it on and uh we'll see how it works um what it's supposed to do is be able to lower or bring the, the car up or uh soften the suspension or make it stiffer so <clears throat> we're gonna check it out I haven't done this before so we're gonna I guess you're going along the ride with me so hopefully this is helpful for you let's go ahead and do an unboxing okay now that I got it all out of the box <clears throat> this is what we're looking at all kinds of goodies Put your extra hardware bolts <clears throat> probably gonna use a lot of my stock hardware on there the wrenches you should be going to the rear your, your springs for the rear and these are for your fronts these must be the buckets for the rear <clears throat> so anyway we'll start getting this car tore apart and uh see if we can put it in i'm gonna start by putting the fronts in first and uh what i'll do is show you how to take that off Alright guys, now that we got the wheel off, what we're going to do is uh, I put penetrating lube on this one, and this one right here, and this one down here. So we'll remove all those, and that should allow for it to come forward, and then I'll get to the top part, and these bolts up here, out, that one and that one, and it'll drop on out. So we'll get that started. Alright, so here's what we're looking at. I got a 10 inch socket on the end of that 21 millimeter wrench and I'm just turning it while the wrench holds it still. She was on there a little bit, she's a little rusted. So I'm sure you kind of pre-soak all this stuff. And there it is. That's this 18 millimeter bolt right here. And this one right here. Now that that one's pretty loose, what you're gonna do is get a hammer and hit it right here so it pops it loose. This is what I'm gonna do. Um, in order to adjust the preload, which I'm gonna do first, is you wanna have this nice and loose. Take this ring back. So you'll tighten this up till it starts to tighten down. And you really can't turn it no more, so about right in there. It feels kinda tight. So then we'll take this ring and push it up against it. That'll be our marking spot. Now what we're gonna do is the, the gap between my tool right here, that's the gap we're gonna want from that. So we're gonna tighten it up from there until we get that much of a gap between the two. So we're tightening it up against the spring. 
See how it starts to gapping out right there? We want this gap right here to be that gap right there. In close. And that should be good right there. So, then we'll spin that back into place. Take both of our wrenches and lock it up. Now after we have it locked up, <clears throat> then this spring should be Somewhat tight in there. That's what it's sitting at. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this one loose. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do, spin this all completely off. Then you're gonna make a measurement from here to the very end which looks to be about five and a half inches. So I'm gonna make a note of that. And on my next one, I'm gonna make it five and a half inches from here to here, and then I'll have them both exactly set up the same. So five and a half inches, put this on here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. Now, when you look at this, I'm noticing, see where this arm is, that's where your arm connects. In the gap here that's probably why it's gonna be different so what I'm gonna do is set this where I think it's gonna be then I'm gonna drop the car and if my tire is up in the fender then I'll have it sitting there and I can adjust it from there and I'll push it back down so we'll start off with giving it a little thread down here because I have no idea where we're gonna be and then once I put her back in, drop it down, then I'll kind of have an idea where we're gonna be. And we'll go from there. So we'll tune the first one, and then we'll go on to the second one. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is lift up on this whole spindle here. Get that bolt back in place right here. And then I'll go ahead and put this bolt back in on the back. And then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. So I realized that this bolt here has to be the supplied bolts that came in the package. Because the original strut had pretty much a welded on nut right here. So remember that. All right, guys. I got it back together. I dropped it. And it's actually sitting exactly where it was stock. So what I want to do is I want to drop it. I get an inch or two because I want those tires up here to be able to hug that fender. So right now we're sitting at between here and here. I'm going to try to put that about exactly four inches from the two. So about we're sitting right now at four and a half. So let's see what happens if we take it up to you. I wonder what would happen if we take it up another inch. So three and a half. We'll go three and a half to the top. From the bottom of there to the top of the collar. So three and a half right there. And I'm gonna see what it drops it. All right, so I think I got her dialed in. So from the bottom of this one, right there, to this one here, is three and a half inches to the top of that one. So I'm gonna leave it at that. 
put it all back together, put the other side, set it exactly to that, put it together, and then I'm gonna see, let her sit and see how much fender clearance I get. And uh, I gotta work on this anyway because I'm gonna be doing some brakes and all that stuff. So if I want her to go lower, then I'll just crank. All I gotta do is loosen up the bolt up top. This one up here, this one. And then you can actually put your wrench on this and turn it and it'll adjust it up and down so you don't have to take anything out. So I'll put it together the way it is right now. Okay, so I got the other one back together. So now what I'm gonna do is I, I set, set up this part and uh, measure this part again. Like I said, I think it was like five inches or five and a half. Um, now put it back together. So now what I'm gonna do is from here to here, I'm gonna go ahead and make that three and a half inches where it touches and it should be exactly set up the same exact way that the other one is. So, so what I'm gonna do real quick and then I'm gonna tear apart the other side and do exactly what I just did. Okay, so there it is, three and a half inches. Should be set up exactly like the other one. And I got the preload set up exactly the same. So this shock or strut should be exactly the way the other one is when we put it in the other side so i'm gonna tear apart the other side do exactly what i just did slap this thing in and we'll see what happens okay guys suspension's all in um i ended up having to take this and add another uh, quarter of an inch on there so i got it at uh three and three quarters between this and this so three and three quarters there so, I mean, the way I had it before, I had it at, uh, I think I had three and a half here, and it was dropped, so, I mean, the wheel was tucked up under here, and it was rubbing over there. There's not much tube left in here is what sucks, because from this point here down to the bottom of this, this black threaded tube, I only got five and a half inches here, so um, when you think that's three and a half, or three and three quarters, I don't have too much in here. I don't know why they didn't make these a little bit longer so that you could bring it up more because if I wanted to bring it up more right now it would not go up too much further than what it is so I got her all locked in place down here on the bottom I had to put more washers in there because this is kind of moving around I think my sway bar link might be shot so I'm gonna order up a new pair of those and get those in and I'll put them in I don't think they're supposed to have that much play in them so but anyway I got it all freaking tightened up and everything so I'm gonna put the tires back on it drop it and uh, let you guys see what it looks like um, with the tires on it how much more it dropped and uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up um, when I was looking at the back uh, suspension part it's, it's pretty difficult and I haven't seen really anybody online that's done it so I'm gonna wait until I have two or three days off so that when I tear it apart I don't need the car so we're gonna do with that. And anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, I'll show you what these wheels look like.